Hi, I'm Scott Stein in San Francisco right after the Apple iPad event and we were expecting new iPads and sure enough the large iPad has undergone a pretty big redesign. It's almost like an iPhone 5 style refinement. It still has a 9.7 inch screen but it's been renamed the iPad Air and it is thinner and lighter than before. It's one pound feels nice in the hand. It's thinner. It's kind of like a return to the feel that the iPad 2 had where it was surprisingly thin and it's even more portable than that. Inside it's got an A7 processor similar to the iPhone 5S. It's also got an M7 motion coprocessor which is interesting and it also has improved FaceTime front facing camera, 5 megapixel back camera and it's got that retina display like before. It costs $499 for the Wi-Fi version, 16 gigabytes, and if you want to pay up to get the LTE version, it's $629. But what's interesting is that the LTE has been improved in this one, and there's also improved Wi-Fi as well. So both of those antennas have been re revamped in this model. It feels really nice, but keep in mind that the new iPad mini with retina display has similar features and a similar resolution screen. So it's going to be interesting to see which one people pick. Uh, this certainly feels like a very light and fun, better version of the existing iPad that had been on the market. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the iPad Air coming up soon.